Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another video and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Zulgarub now in patch 10.0.7. Uh, Zulgarub has a lot of ancient, <laughs> ancient secrets that maybe a lot of people don't know about. But you can come here now uh, once you unlock an achievement, uh, collect some videos and buy patterns and maybe loot some patterns uh, to get gear, right? To craft gear that was or that was removed from the game, but now is you have the ability to recraft them, which is really cool. They also added a toy in here, uh, the Brazier of Madness, which you can see right there in that video right there, how to obtain that. That's pretty important. So the first thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to get a, an achievement called the relics of the fallen empire now when you complete this achievement you'll notice it unlocks ancient ancient secrets within zulgarub now once you do this achievement then you'll be able to really get to the to the really the meat and the potatoes of what you can do in this dungeon and you can make a lot of gold because a lot of these patterns that you can obtain now are bind on or not bind on pickup so you can put them on the auction house and sell them so or you if you want to learn them and then craft them and sell the gear you can do that so the first thing we're gonna do is get this achievement the relics of the fallen empire after we get this I'm gonna come back to the dungeon and show you exactly some places to go and what drops what so you can get the max value on how this operation works so Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure when you come here, you want to kill at least two bosses. Now, killing two bosses, as you notice here, I killed the High Priest and the Blood Lord. Because once you kill two bosses, you'll get this right here. Jindo, the Godbreaker, you'll be able to engage him. And all you got to do is kill two bosses. But once you kill two bosses, what you want to do is you want to come to the, the center here where Jindu is. And on the bottom of this pyramid, you just want to come in this door right here. And on the right hand side or whatever entrance you come in, you'll notice a gong. And on the floor of this gong, you'll notice a, a biju. And you want to pick that up. Now, this is one part of the item that you're going to need. And once you pick this up, you want to go to the top of the pyramid here and engage Jindu. So we'll run up there and we'll be right back. Okay, so we made it up to Jindu here and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit him with a dot. And when we do that, he's gonna put us in a spirit, in, in the spirit world right here. Now we're in the spirit realm. And you just wanna go back to that same area that where we got the first Bijou. So back underneath the pyramid here and you got to be in the spirit realm the spirit world right here and you'll notice on the ground in the spirit in the spirit world is another bijou so you want to pick that up now that'll give us the two parts that we need for this achievement so what you want to do is you want to combine these both so once you have both of them you want to combine them and this will give you a quest here it's called Restores Hakari uh, Bijou. So we'll accept this here. And this um, is going to ask us basically to go to the Broken Shores. Down here to Zandalar. So we're going to go down here and turn this in. And it's located right in um, Dazalara. Daz this area right here so we're gonna head over there and we'll be right back so we made it to the city where we need to turn in this quest here and it's located in Zuldazar in the city right here right down here in this area right here you'll notice it's the traitor now be careful here because this is a horde city if you're an alliance and you might run into someone that has you know that's 12 and has the I'm mad at my dad syndrome and might kill you so just be careful with that so whenever you turn this show in coin, and I will show you my then you'll get the achievement 
called Relics of the Fallen Empire. Now this can this only has to be done on one character, and then all your other characters can run Zulgarub, so it's account wide. Um, you will never find. But you'll day. notice this trader here uh, sells a bunch of patterns, but you need different items in order to do that, and you get all these items within Zulgarub. So we're gonna go back to Zulgarub, and I'm gonna show you exactly. Uh, how this all works. You know where to find me. So we made it back to Zulgarub and now we can farm some Bijos. Now before we begin farming our Bijos here, I just want to say when you come in this this dungeon here, if you hang a right here, the trader from where we turned in the quest to get the achievement, he will be now located right here at the entrance so you don't have to go you all the way back to Zandalar to um, to get what he offers now everything that he offers and he sells all these patterns and transmog pieces here that you can train in trade in for different bijos is all buy none pickup now you can get these patterns um, and sell them on the auction house by different means which i'll show you within um within this dungeon um two two Bosses drop mounts in this dungeon. You got High Priestess drops the Swiftzillian Panther, and uh, Blood Lord drops the Raptor mount. So you can go farm two of those. So we're gonna go um, farm some Bijos now. Now Bijos drop from any trash mob. Uh, they have a chance to drop from any mob in here, any trash mob that you can kill. You can do that now if you just want to keep running trash you can do that you even though this is gonna this is a defaulted heroic dungeon you can still reset the trash it's called a soft reset so if you leave the dungeon and then come back in you can still get the trash if you just want to farm trash now that's a slow process what you really want to do is you just want to go to a boss um, every day because each boss drops a uh, guaranteed drops one bijo so and you have a chance to get a big bag of bijos from each boss and that has a chance to give you four bijos now there's nine different types of bijos you can get they are all different types of colors so we're just going to head up to a boss here and kill one and i'll show you what what to expect so we made it up to a boss here called Zanzil, and we'll kill him, and he'll definitely give us one Bijo, and he did, he gave us a green uh, Bijo. Now all these Bijos that you loot, they're all account wide, so uh, you can send them to your alts if you want. So you can kill each boss one day, um, one time each day. Now another thing you want to do, and this is this is really important because this is where you can really get some really good loot, is you want to come down to this location right here, which we'll go to, and you can fish. You can fish. So we'll go do that, and uh, I'll show you what to expect on that. So another thing you want to do here in Zulgarub is you can do this once a day per tune, um, and you want to come down to this location right here. And you'll notice that you're in the right location because you'll get a, a buff here called the Mud Skunk Aroma. Now, when, when you're sitting here and where all these villagers are, what you want to do is you just want to catch a... Just throw your fishing out there. You don't have to be any skill. You could be level one skill for fishing. And you have a chance to... And it's pretty quick, too, to, to fish up a catch. And there we did. And when you do, you get a achievement called the De Deadliest Catch, which is fish up a gur Gurabashi Cache in Zulgarub. Now these cache, if anything, you want to do this at least once a day because this cache here, not only does it give you Bijos, you have a chance to get rare transmog pieces and patterns. Now the patterns you get out of the cache here can be sold on the auction house. So let's see what we get here. And unfortunately, oh, we did get a trinket here, but this, 
probably won't sell. That's not a piece that we're really looking for. But we did get a, another transmog piece here and here. And we got some BJOs. But usually what you're looking for is, is some of the high ticket items there. So if anything, take all your alts down here and do this fishing. I got it on the first try. And you get it within a first couple casts. So another thing uh, that you really want to do, and you're going to need a couple items, is you want to pick up blood piles. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I made it back to High Priest right here. And she's dead. But there, right here is a blood pile. Now, as you notice, I can't click it. So what you're, you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get another another buff. And how you do that is you want to go, you're going to need the Brazier of Madness. Now, I made a video on that, on where to pick that up. But you get it also in this dungeon. So you want to lay down the Brazier of Madness. And you're going to also need a second item. You're going to need uh, an item called the Gurabashi Mojo Madness. Now, this item is made by Alchemist. And, or you can buy it on the auction house. So what you want to do is you want to use this Mojo Madness on the Brazier. And this will turn you into a troll right here. And it gives you a 60 minute buff called Succumb into Madness. And this is basically turns you friendly with all the NPCs in here. But most importantly, it lets you click on these blood piles. So when you click on these blood piles, you, you can do this it, as long as long as you have as many Bijos as you can to turn in. So here we can turn this in. And when you do, you get right here, you get a, a tribute. Now these tributes are really good too because you have a chance to get the patterns also. And also other transmog pieces. So we'll do this and we'll turn in another one here and we'll get two. So you could turn that in as many times as you, as you can. Um... As long as you have the B Joes to do it. Now there's four blood piles in this dungeon. Uh, basically, every boss except Jindo and uh, the Catch of Madness has a blood pile uh, associated with them that you can turn in uh, B Joes to. Now I'll put exactly where those are located in the in the description below. So we'll turn we'll open these and see what we get. And unfortunately, we didn't get anything <laughs> that was worthwhile. So, but that's basically all the secrets here in Zulgarub. So, how to get uh, certain caches, how to find the vendor, uh, how to get Bijos. So, I hope this video helped. And if I left something out, please let me know in the comments below. And, um,. Yeah, good luck. Good luck with your BJO farming and hope you get some of these nice patterns and make some gold off it. So good luck and take care.